Good morning. Welcome to the John Sarosa Homestead. We are continuing to walk the Green Mile, and this is a Saturday. And this morning, I am getting ready to package up the quail that I butchered yesterday. Did a total of 13. Got 12 left. One of them has some wounds on it, and normally, if they have wounds or something like that, we don't keep them. Um, we'll compost them or whatever we need to do with them, but normally, we don't keep them if they have wounds. Um, if it's a chicken, we'll cut out that part and keep the rest of it. Uh, quail are so small, uh, we just go ahead and get rid of the whole thing. So, got 12 left. Going to be packaging these up. Just got them out of the ice water and make sure to clean up everything. Uh, any residual um, feathers on the, sometimes you feel a couple of feathers right there on the leg bone or something. So, we try and clean up everything. And then we're going to vacuum seal and get them in the freezer so these are a mix of males and females they're about three months old so not old but not young and it's easy to tell the difference in them when they're this age as far as males and females which ones is which the females have started laying eggs so you can take the females and they'll be dark right there where they've been stretching and popping out the eggs nothing wrong with them so if you end up getting um, quail from somebody and they're older quail and you see them like that there's nothing wrong with them it's just where they've been laying eggs so this is a female and this right here is a male and you can see the difference um, we do cut out the backbone to gut them and like I said we do skin them I have a plucker gonna be trying it out yesterday I was just trying to get some cage space freed up I got some young um, well, they're, they're five weeks old, so I needed to get them separated, males and females, and get them in some cages. And then, I don't know if you can hear in the background, but we've got a bunch of quail chicks that have hatched. So I need some more quail um, cage space. So these older ones are going to go in the freezer, and then I'm able to move around and select some breeders and get everything separated. So right now what I'm getting ready to do is going to bag them up. Put them in the vacuum sealer, seal them, put them on the scale, weigh them, and then bring them to the um, labels, put the labels on, and then they'll go into the freezer. So, hoping to do an instructional video where we take you through the whole process of butchering. Um, we'll do the plucking, the scalding, the plucking, the gutting, and then we'll do some with where we skin them too to show you the difference. If you don't have the equipment, skinning is the best way to go. Um, quail, I haven't tried it, but quail aren't that much. So if you want it to boil you a pot of water, dunk them in it, and then um, pluck them by hand, you certainly could. It just depends on how many you have. But we did invest in a little plucker, and uh, I need to try it out because if it doesn't work, I can send it back to Amazon. Um, but I need to do that soon, and I still have about 20 adult quail that I need to process anyway so hopefully in the next week or two after things slow down we've, we've had some busy weekends today's busy and we have a fall festival at, at our church um, so once I have a free Saturday where both me and my wife can get out there and um, get a video um, we will we'll do that so in the meantime this is just an update hope y'all have a blessed day y'all take care and don't forget to follow and subscribe and all that stuff to our Facebook page, Instagram, and YouTube channel if you would. We would greatly appreciate that. Y'all take care.